Stephen Squires once said, the thing that sets Mars apart is that it is enough like Earth that you can imagine life. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how Stephen Squires is such an influential person in the field of aerospace and space exploration. My name is Luke Bedrosian, and I'm a freshman engineer here. I have experience doing undergraduate research in space mission design um, with satellites, and also in developing satellite design with the AggieSat laboratory. Today I'll be showing you how Squires was so influential through his role in the discovery of water on Mars, the possibility of life on Mars, and his role in ushering in the new Martian space race. So without any further ado, let's blast off. Squires was the chief scientist for the Mars rovers Spirit and Opportunity and he led these teams to their discovery of water on Mars. According to a 2004 article, Chandler writes that sedimentary deposits found by these rovers suggest at least a UK-sized lake. Now that's big, because prior to this, we had no clue that Mars had ever had water on it. And that's a big step towards our um, um, searching for other places in our galaxy. Furthermore, in a 2011 academic paper by Smith and Onstadt, they talk about how Squires developed the vision himself for a small scale robot geologist on Mars. So prior to this, there already was a Mars rover, but the geologist-like rover that they sent for with spirit and opportunity was developed by Squires. And that just goes to show how influential he was in the discovery that these rovers made. But what does water even mean, right? It means life. Squires' team's findings of water on Mars has led to the opportunity of life on Mars both former and in the future. In a 2005 paper by Squires himself, he talks of the past aqueous state of Mars and how it may have been suitable for primitive life forms. And that's big, right? Because that means aliens. So, I mean, in our um, searching of the galaxy as a species, we've been looking for evidence of other life forms. And what this did was it opened up the opportunity for ancient aliens that might have lived on Mars. What's even cooler, though, is that in a 2019 paper by Christopher McKay, he writes that there is a sufficient amount of water on Mars to support human beings. And that's huge, right? Because as we are looking to expand in our galaxy and with the um, issues we're having on Earth, we're all, there's this big push to go elsewhere and expand and search. And this opens up Mars as a candidate. But what do these discoveries of water and maybe life even do? Like, how does the scientific community react? A space race. Squires' findings in his work have led to the starting of this new Martian space race and the push to send mankind, send mankind to Mars and potentially colonize it. In Squires' own words, I could have completed Opportunity's initial 90-day mission in just 20 minutes. Now, just from an efficiency standpoint, sending mankind there is already way ahead of sending rovers. But there's obviously other um, reasons for sending humans. I mean, we want to do these hard things, right? We want to send mankind elsewhere. And there's obviously political aspirations, too. Furthermore, companies such as, Sp such as SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic have now all been inspired by Squires' work and have proposed different ways that 
we could potentially go to Mars in their own concept of these missions. But what's really cool, I think, is that Squires now has a foot in the game. According to the, the Cornell Chronicle in 2019, Squires is stepping down from his position as professor at Cornell and assuming the position of chief scientist at Blue Origin. And that's something that I'm excited to see what's going to come next, right? In conclusion, Stephen Squires has been a massively influential person in the field of aerospace and space exploration. I showed you this today through his role in the discovery of water on Mars, possible life on Mars, and in um, his inciting the Martian space race. In a quote from Smith and Onstott, Squires has initiated a new era in planetary exploration and inspired a new generation of students to become scientists and explorers. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me personally and all my colleagues who are in aerospace, we have all been greatly touched by his work and it is actively influencing everything we do up in space today. Thank you for your time.